Hello gorgeous, it's Jessica Joy. Welcome to your video on the difference between diastasis recti and mommy tummy. How are they similar? How are they different? And what can we do about it? It's all going to be covered in this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Ring a ling a ding. I like the bell. Ding dong. <laughs> If you don't already know, a diastasis recti is where the tissue that connects your rectus abdominal muscles, your six pack muscles, the tissue that connects those, the linea alba, it's a fascial tissue, gets stretched out from intra abdominal pressure, typically from pregnancy. You know, those babies pushing out, it's got to make some room. And so this tissue stretches out because it's connected to those core muscles. They go along with it. Okay. So your rectus abdominals start to be shaped like this. And then it creates like a poochy tummy look, okay? And I support women in closing that gap, getting it back together uh, and flattening their tummy as well. There is also a condition called mommy tummy or mummy tummy or mom pooch or just like so many different names. I call it mommy tummy. And what that is, it can be a variation, but typically it's like this lower pooch where you would think about like the typical 80s mom jeans, maybe 90s mom jeans where it's just kind of poochy here. But any type of like poochy belly that happened after having babies, and you don't like it. So mommy tummy, is not related to diastasis recti, but both of these contribute to creating a poochy tummy. And I had both of them for years. As I studied uh, from a pelvic fourth specialist and became a pre and postnatal fitness specialist and was able to close my DR even six years postpartum, I learned that the protocols for repairing diastasis are the same for flattening mommy tummy. So what is mommy tummy? You know, it's not even a technical term, but the way to fix it is to strengthen your transverse abdominals. So if we know that, then we know that what's creating it is weak transverse abdominals because transverse abdominals are the innermost layer. You probably already know it. They call it your TAs. They're your innermost layer. They call it your TAs or TVAs, either one. And they course it all the way around in their, your deepest core layer. So they're a little bit harder to connect to mentally and people can go their whole life without really connecting and engaging them. And that creates, you know, the mommy tummy. It also contributes to pelvic floor issues, a lot of things. So we're here now taking action, getting the knowledge and moving forward. So one of the primary focuses for healing diastasis recti is strengthening the transverse abdominal muscles. So as you do that, you'll be flattening mommy tummy at the same time. So there are four primary pieces to repairing diastasis recti and flattening mommy tummy. And those are posture patterns, breathing patterns, core loading patterns, or how you activate your core. And then lastly, strengthening your transverse abdominals. I'm going to go over each one real quick and give you something that you can implement in each one. So you can start creating a flatter tummy posture. I'm going to give you three cues. Okay. The first one I call strings. So you want to imagine your, that there's a string from your pubic bone to the crown of your head, gently pulling, lengthening you. You can see how it starts to lengthen your core, lengthen your spine. It starts to stack your ribs over your hips really nicely. Okay. It feels really good and light. The next one is stack. So we want to get our ribs right over our hips. We don't want them forward. We don't want them back. We don't want all this stuff. Okay. It's like they're two bowls and they're right over. So this bowl is shaped this way. This bowl's upside down and it creates this lovely capsule. Okay. And we want to keep that stacked. Next is shine. You're going to imagine there's a light on your sternum and you want it to shine straight out. Okay. Sometimes it can shine up because our rib cage is tilted up or it can shine down because our rib cage is tilted down. We're tired. Whoop. Get it straight out. Next, imagine there's a, like a, a light on your belt buckle. Okay. And you want it also to shine straight out. Okay. So we don't want our hips tilted this way. The light will shine up. Or if we tilt our hips this way, it's shining down again, shine straight out. Those are awesome cues that will support you create a flatter tummy and a load of other benefits. 
Next is breathing. The optimal breathing pattern is to inhale, the diaphragm lowers, and our whole core expands in a 360 degree pattern. So it's not just expanding out the front like a belly breath, it's also the ribs are coming up, even in the back the ribs are expanding, okay? So a great way to test this is put your fingers right underneath your ribs, and then think about breathing down, then out. Okay, so it's gonna be nice and relaxed. Down, out, and then just be practicing that and see how much more you can get your ribs to be coming out. So you're increasing that rib expansion, and we're not creating too much intra-abdominal pressure from a chronic belly breathing pattern, all right? Next is core loading patterns. This is how you automatically activate your core. It's a habit, it's something that has been trained into your body and a lot of us have a habit of loading our core. Let's say we're going to lift something and we bulge our abs out, okay? Obviously, this isn't what we want. So we wanna learn how to fire our core in a way that we're firing the transverse abdominals and flattening, so it looks like this. See how it's nice and flat? Do, do, do. Everything's nice and tight and engaged. Boom, boom. All right, it's flat, strong. It's optimally engaged. So I have other videos that talk about how to do that in various exercises, uh, but the main focus that I want you to do is use your breathing to tap into those TAs. So as you take a nice deep inhale, as you exhale, make a s sound or a sh sound, and then feel your core start to engage and flatten. And then connect, it's like feel around and get familiar with what it feels like to activate your transverse abdominal muscles. It feels really good. You feel like strong and centered, okay? But we want to be loading them in that flattening pattern. Okay, so different times throughout the day, you can just check on this. Don't do this a lot, okay? I don't want you to be like all over the place. So it's just like, oh, okay, nice, relaxed. Inhale, that 360 degree breath, and then okay, everything's engaged and flattened, and then you can try this in different positions, or I'll link the video below that teaches you how to do it in you know, common exercise positions like push-ups and squats. The last primary piece is connecting to and strengthening your transverse abdominal muscles. When these are strong, it keeps your core corseted in so there's not so much bulging going on. So I said connect and engage. First you have to connect to them too. You have to know how to fire them. So use the breath that I talked about before. Inhale, you can imagine you're blowing out a dandelion, make it a big wish. Okay, and those are your TAs, okay? So when you're doing exercises, any type of core exercise, any really type of exercise, most exercises use your core, before you start the exercise, activate your TAs first. So let's say you have like a leg lift or something. So we start the, activate the TAs, then lift the leg, okay? So there isn't any bulging going on and we know that everything's activated. Engage, all right? And the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. If you want to flatten mommy tummy and or close diastasis recti, I highly recommend you try my program, Diastasis Recti Repair, uh, to help get you going and get you moving forward and not being like, oh, I don't know, like, is it good enough? Like, is it gonna work? Like, what about the money? Like, try a week on me. The week is totally free. I designed it that way because I was the person who was like, oh, I don't know if that program's gonna work, so I'm not gonna do anything, okay? <laughs> I finally took action. I like tried to piecemeal YouTube videos together and I was never happy with my core because it just didn't give me the whole system that I needed, okay? So the free week has a lot of content. It's so much, you're gonna be like, whoa. Okay, so try it on me, and then if you cancel before the free trial, you are charged nothing, no questions asked, it's all good, okay? So get moving forward, okay, and creating a core that you love. I promise there's so much progress that's possible for your core, even years after babies. This is me, I healed, you know, about a year ago, and my daughter's almost seven, 
okay so you don't know like keep an open mind keep moving forward uh the link is below to get your free week there's also a free diastasis recti safe exercise guide as well as a recipe book all kinds of good stuff so head on over there uh so much love to you please comment below anything and everything about mom life mommy chummy anything i want to hear from you and connect to you much much love see you next time